All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is John Hammond, this time showcasing uh, some of the Hack the Vote CTF or Capture the Flag competition that's been going on this weekend, uh, November 4th to November 6th. Uh, it's still Saturday right now. I'm just in the middle of it. I haven't gotten a whole lot of flags, admittedly, um, but... Uh, I figured I'd be able to show off some of the small ones that I have been able to get. This has been, admittedly, a really difficult CTF, at least on my end. It's organized uh, by RPI Sec, so be sure to give them a, a check out and a thumbs up for an awesome game. And it's online at pwn.voting, and this is their interface, which is super cool. So, <laughs> it is just the map of the United States for the Hack the Vote uh, 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 theme, and they do have their Jeopardy style display if you just wanted to look at it by category. So I want to show off the Web 100 in this video, and that is titled uh, Bernie Sanders Fan Club. It only ha it has 185 solves, so again, uh, out of the scheme of things, I think there are about 900 people registered, 930, 950 or so at this point now. Um, uh, so 185 is, is, a, is a good amount for the people that were able to solve things. So, okay, so the Sanders fan club, about 100 points. The challenge description is, These deplorable Sanders supporters are still fighting. Shut the site down by finding where the idiot stored his credentials. Um, so it gives us this URL. So I'll go ahead and follow that and check it out. <laughs> Bernie Sanders fan club. Feel the burn. Man, I just love Bernie Sanders. He's still got a chance. Etc. Etc. The site is still a work in progress. It only works in Firefox, I think. I'm not very good at web dev, so I just copied and pasted a bunch of config files from Stack Overflow. Hmm. I think I left my credentials somewhere, but I can't seem to find them. Let me know if you see them. Okay, thanks. And remember, vote Bernie. And I guess there are some pictures here of flags. But that's all that's on the web page. Literally, literally, that's it. There's a login. And it's just a password input box. You can enter anything, and you will try and authorize, although the password is the flag, is the only alert message that we get. So, uh, I admittedly spent a lot of time on this challenge, kind of just going through rabbit holes. Uh, I asked around on the IRC channel, I tried to uh, talk to some friends, and admittedly, I would not have been able to solve this challenge without the help of some uh, g very generous people and uh, bouncing ideas back and forth and explaining a, a worthwhile process here. So, <laughs> I'm thankfully running Firefox right now, that's why this only it only works in Firefox, I think, uh, as an interesting tidbit. Although, the thing that really put me down a rabbit hole was this. I just copied and pasted a bunch of config files from Stack Overflow. So, I think a lot of people, for, from individuals that I was talking with on the IRC channel, they were, like, trying to Google things that were, like, oh, in the URL of, of, of Stack Overflow. Or, like, configuration files for Bootstrap, considering, like, it is it is a Bootstrap web design page. Or the backend server, because initially, you want to reach for, like, the low-hanging fruit, right? Is there is there a robots.txt? Uh, no. Although we can see it's an Nginx server, so we'd want to see, oh, are there any Nginx like configuration files, stuff like that. Um, be able to look for that on Stack Overflow, just basic configuration files, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, some other stuff that I was interested and curious about, I wanted to try and run like other low-hanging fruit penetration testing tools with, with web application and stuff. So I initially ran Nikto, which is an awesome uh, utility if you haven't heard of. I think I've, I may have shown it off before. Open source, web server scanner, blah, blah, blah. You can check it out on your own if you haven't heard of it before. But all I ended up really doing is just passing uh, the URL as the host here. And it will try and look through it. And it immediately finds this really interesting thing. Uh, the anti-click jacking X-frame options header is not present. But... I actually literally just read the wrong line. I meant to be rereading this one. <laughs> the uncommon header link is found with contents flag to JPEG rel equals style sheet. So that's interesting. That was weird, obviously, since it displays this uncommon header. Uh, and admittedly, I didn't really know what to think of that or what to do with it. Um, <laughs> so I was looking at it I was like, well, okay, flag 2.jpg. That's odd and, and, and strange. I see... I check out the source of the web page. I try to, like... Initially, I'd Googled for common things like this, like, oh, this might have been, like, some tutorial comment for someone just trying to find easy config files and stuff like that. Uh, and I see these images, the flag 1 JPEG and the flag 2 JPEG. Um, and then I went over to the login at HTML page, but again, there's nothing there either. Same kind of content, same time of bootstrap jazz. But it's just a JavaScript thing that tells us, oh, the password is a flag. So there's no, like, communication with the server here. It's just weird. Um, 
some lurking around the IRC channel and some talking with other individuals. Uh, the administrator, like the admin that created this cha uh, this challenge, uh, shout out to Lens, I guess, um, had said that the flag is in the website itself. So you don't have to go digging through Stack Overflow. You don't have to worry about any Firefox specifications, stuff like that. Um, you can find it here on the web page. I even tried, like, I, I, I honestly tried to mirror the entire web page and, like, strings everything, try to, like, <laughs> grep through everything and try to find something that is a flag, um, but to no avail. Eventually, stumbled upon this thing that we ended up using Firebug, um, which is a, a, a Firefox add-on. Let me... Firebug. Get Firebug.com. An extension for Firefox to uh, let you like interact and change HTML and JavaScript and CSS stuff while you're viewing a web page. So, but you can also just see the traffic and stuff going out as you, as you, you work through it. So, I was interested in the net tab and I requested all. So then I tried to load the page again, and I could see all the information, the URLs that are being get and posted with like the typical HTTP. Uh, conversations here, and some interesting stuff that I saw was that okay, we're getting the HTTP like page, we're getting the flag.jpg, etc. And I was curious why flag.jpg was shown up twice, one down here with flag one and flag two up here. So I was observing some of these and I was going through them more in depth. And something stuck out to me was that, hmm, uh, response headers, connection, keep alive, content length, 223, was it whatever, content type, text, CSS. <laughs> that was weird, right? Uh, a JPEG image is not a CSS style sheet. And that's, there was that weird link header for flag to JPEG rel style sheet that Nikto had, had, had pointed out for us here. So I was like, What? <laughs> and I and I right clicked on this one and I tried to copy as curl so I could see okay I can't obviously change the request that I'm doing with through firebug but can I see the request that it's getting and I, I copy it as the curl command so now I, I throw this in uh, my terminal and I do this curl command that firebug just straight up gives us but it's the URL to the flag to JPEG however it's accepting it as a CSS file and I'm just gonna run it for one thing to see if we can get the uh, whatever it returns for us. Keep in mind, my user agent right now is still Firefox, because I'm doing this through my web browser. I'm, like, replaying the packet get from Firebug, just this time running it through curl. So it gets a CSS file, apparently, a style sheet. However, it's supposed to be a JPEG image. <laughs> and there's a comment at the very end here that says, how did I... Oh, never mind. I'm pretty sure my credentials are in a text file. So... Boom, we've got a lead here. We immediately found something, and it's a good hint. So this is clearly some guidance. And what sticks out to me here now is that, okay, it's supposed to be a text file. Um, I know there was some, like, ideas. Oh, uh, is it flag.txt or flag flag 2txt or flag.txt? And some people, again, in conversation in the IRC channels weren't having any success with that. Uh, flag.jpg, not, not flag 2 JPEG. Okay, cool. And uh, to no avail. That, that that did not work. What I figured was hmm, the, the content type, it being CSS, is weird, considering it's a JPEG. But if it's supposed to be a plain text file, according to this, my credentials are in a text file, it's obviously interpreting it as something weird. So let's try and only accept, rather than a CSS style sheet, a plain text file. The MIME type for that is text underscore plain. Uh, and I run this, <laughs> and we get a password reminder, and there's the flag. I am very bad with computers. I suppose uh, this hint here, uh, go tell <laughs> Chrome developers to support RFC 5988. Firefox is the master race. Um, <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's why it's supposed to only work in Firefox. And uh, here, I'll pull this back down. And I suppose me running Firebug, being, being able to see that, and it, it passing the, your, the user agent in the curl headers, it was able to find it just like that. I'm curious what this RFC is. <laughs> I haven't actually read through it, but oh, it also defines the use of such links in HTTP letters of the link header field. So interesting stuff if you're curious about how the backend works. But that's how I got the flag. Um, 
crazy method. Admittedly, I again, I would not have easily figured this out on my own without bouncing ideas off of other people and, 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 and talking it out. So, awesome challenge. Uh, had a little bit more to it than like a simple low-hanging fruit like robots.txt gig. So, cool. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to show off a little bit more of Hack the Vote uh, 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 challenges and show some write-ups for you. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.